people think it's just like a rural crime, it just happens up the hills, that, but it happens right on our doorstep. My name's Danny Mackay, I volunteer at Thameside's People for Wildlife. For about three years, we're a community group made up of people from different backgrounds who volunteer the time to help wildlife and raise awareness for wildlife. I wanted to do more, just photograph them, I uh, wanted to help as much as we can, safe habitats, so they're still there for our kids and grandkids to enjoy. Biggest issues, yeah, money and education. It's not profitable, is it? It's to some people's wasting money. People's perception of wildlife as well. There's so many benefits from wildlife to be enjoyed. It does need to be used more. The truth is we have got a healthy population around Thameside of badgers. Creatures of habit they are badgers, uh, also foxes. They tend to use the same trails. Uh, their eyesight's not great, so they, they'll stick to that same trail. And you'll notice, uh, like this one's going under the brambles, uh, the one behind us is coming out over where the soft ground is, where they've been digging. You, you think of a badger, it's low to ground. It's almost like a drag mark, you'll see. So you, it'll be quite a nice, smooth trail. All the things to look out for are all in one area. So that's if we've got uh, snuffle holes, where they've been digging for the worms, trails, scratch marks, and then obviously the set entrances. You get a lot of uh, road traffic accidents, you get a lot of badgers, foxes, even deer end up victims on the roads. Like they saw people piling stuff on top of the sets and then getting blocked in. This year we've had two incidents of that. This is, well, it's along the lines of sort of trophy hunting, I would say. Um, yeah, a group of people with uh, terriers and they'll have usually have GPS trackers on them. They'll send them down a badger set uh, until they've located a badger and then they'll dig it out and then leave it to a, a larger dog, usually like a lurcher type dog, to kill the badger. Uh, we have to work closely with the RSPCA and the police and the badger trust to collect evidence. I love them, I can sit there in the spring watching the cubs come out. This time of year now, they'll be changing the bedding, getting ready for breeding season. Some nights they won't come out due to the temperature. It's almost like a sort, it's almost like a form of hibernation, but it's not. It's not just love for them. It's um, I've got kids of my own, and they've never seen certain wildlife or heard certain wildlife and stuff that I don't see. You talk to the older generation, and people said the sign of spring was hearing cuckoos. So we're looking for a base where we can not just do educational based activities but fun activities. Yeah definitely I've seen improvement not just batches but with stuff like the bird boxes that we put up are getting used, um, some of the work the education we do with the schools and the colleges you're getting a good response from children. People are getting to experience this and it is on the down we want to just encourage people to get back out there and enjoy wildlife and secure it for the future. Mm -hmm.